What up, yo, show boy, PR Links, PR. And I bring you another game of Advanced um, Infinity Warfare. And we playing this map over here, the one with the gas station. I, I don't remember the name of the maps, bro. I'm going to be truthful with you. Uh, little gameplay right here, man. I was playing live. Um, it's one of my live gameplays on stream. And uh, they, pre <laughs> they pretty good, man. I was out. Uh, Joshi was on the stream, and I told him, I said, you know what? I'm going to follow uh, Captain Shark advice and see how I do. And, dude, they, they, I'm going to tell you something, man. Some of these YouTubers, bro, what they tell you really works, man. And Captain Shark, man, the advice that he gives really works, man. Now, I couldn't believe I didn't get that a piece of that action over there, bro. So, <clears throat> I made a blog earlier today telling you guys that my thoughts behind what behind the next call of duty man and i'm telling you man it's it's, it's crazy bro it's crazy now a lot of these youtubers man the the overreactions are so gay bro like 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 uh the the uh what's his name now not t yeah t martin Man, he's T. Martin and Ali and those guys, man, they're so freaking gay, bro, with their reactions. I thought about, I'm still thinking about making like a a, a, a a spoof video, man, making fun of these of these jackasses, man. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I feel about that later on. But anyway, man, this this uh this 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 year, man. I know that a lot, a lot of, a lot of people are very um, disappointed with this game. Uh, thing last year, uh, when Black Ops Three dropped, dropped, dropped uh, it was, uh, it was a good year for Call of Duty. Go uh, in comparison with the games that came before it, which were, you know, Ghost and um, and Advanced Advanced Warfare. Black Ops 3 was a, a very uh, refreshing. It was fun to play, a lot of fun, and uh, and it was you know it was a pretty good game. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only thing that happened with Black Ops 3 that I felt like it was a little bit um, it took away some of the uh, entertainment value to me was the fact that you had to share the mothership with all the with other scrubs and and the the maps some of these the maps some of these maps were ridiculous man a picnic table with a freaking oversized bees and bullshit like that it was it was kind of childish like man but other than you know other than that i think black Ops Three was a pretty pretty uh decent game it was pretty good and now we got this game right here which is um not really fun at all man like i i beast it here really did really well but i'm i'm i got the whole freaking team on my back homie and and ain't so much i can do you know um i cannot cap every freaking flag by myself so it, it, it's it is what it is you feel me i got i gotta do what i gotta do um, and right now, what I gotta do is get my kills and do my thing, man. I cannot be worrying about these assholes, cause they're not catching. They're not. They're not. They look at that. They're not stepping on flags, man. I got the warden out there. They ain't doing jack. But uh, you boy with a fury kill. Anyway, the next game, man, should be a uh, very interesting, man. Um, look at you, boy with the tour, baby. Let's go. That's what's so, homie. The next game should be very, um, very interesting, man. It should be fun to play. It should be uh, uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, we should be able to have good kill streaks in the next game. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Because, li listen, there was a lot of nasty bombs. In, in World War II, there was a lot of ke chemical uh, stuff in World War II. You know, we could have our uh, K9 units 
there were such things in World War II. You know, so we should be able to have really nice coal streets, man. And it should be able to operate some of those coal streets. Um, you know, most of them, I would, I would love to have a Call of Duty where we have, um, most of the, you know, uh, most of the school streaks to be able to manually operate them. And if you cannot operate them, I mean, either go manual or go let the AI take care of it. You know what I'm saying? I would love that, man. Like this, this game right here, every time I'm freaking doing this thing, this, I should lower the volume on this freaking phone. Every time that um, this is called streaks, it, we should be able to operate them. And, and the next game should be able to give us that option. Hey, you want to operate the school streaks or you want to let the AI do, do the work for you? You know, I, I, I hope that they got they, they, they give us plenty of school streaks that will give you those, those options. This game right here, like, imagine if we could operate the uh, the warden, man. I, I mean, this game will be that a lot of people will see this game in a different light. If if you could operate the warden and operate the uh, the vulture, you know what I'm saying? That it would be it would be beast. You know what I'm saying? Because now you could use the little vulture like like the talent. And then you could use the uh, the water from the sky. You could shoot people off. You know what I'm saying? Like they like a, kind of like a mothership, but or by yourself. It it would be nice, man. I think it would add a, a, a lot of fun to the game, and a, a, lot, a lot of people will will uh we we would be playing it. You know because they will want to get the score streaks. But you know when you you get slap you get you slap on blind eye and 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 and, and uh. And you pretty much safe from any score streaks, and it's sad. And I hope that Sledgehammer don't make the same mistake on on the next game. Like I told you guys on my vlog, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Um, the score streaks and the maps is what's gonna make make this game make or break this game. Score streaks, maps, and um. And it's, it's, and and the uh, matchmaking, you know, and on all those three things, slash hammers uh, has have control of it, and they need to realize and say, listen, if if you give us that that freaking hardcore uh, skill based matchmaking that you gave us in advanced warfare, people are gonna not gonna they're gonna grinch. And they're not gonna want to play your game. I don't care if it's boots on the ground, ass in the air. I don't give a fuck what it is. People are not gonna want to play it. If if you give us maps that are about the size of battlefield maps, people are not gonna want to play that. You feel me? So you gotta have the same type of maps that we had on Black Ops two, three. You know, the, the when it comes to the size of the map and the the layout of the maps. And and it's the same type of a, a skill, um, a matchmaking that we had on Black Ops Three. I think I think that if you take the matchmaking from Black Ops Three, and you take the 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 the, the maps, um, the size of the maps and the layout of the maps with, with like three lane maps, I, I think we will be happy with that. I, I'll be happy with that. And then you give us cold streaks that. Uh, a man operated or AI operated, you could switch whatever, like like on like on Black Ops Three. I think the reason why Black Ops Three is so much fun is because they did those things right. They did the matchmaking right, they did the maps right, and they did the score streaks right. They brought they give us fun the fun factor. They brought it back by not nerfing the score streaks. And, and then these these guys right here took that back uh, for some reason they retracted they went back you know it feels like to deep to me this game right here feels like this was actually the first game i don't know if you understand what i'm saying like advanced warfare came out with that game and this was made right after you see what i'm saying and then black ops took the concept of both games and made their game but it feels like this game right here was the first game 
me. You know what I'm saying? After advanced warfare, this was worth first. You know, Infinity War rushed rushed out and made this game, and then the guys from uh, Treyarch they made their game, and they took from this game, but they made it better. I don't know if you believe what I'm telling you of you if you feel the same way, but that's why it feels to me like this one came first, even though it was it sold after. I, it, it feels it just feels like that to me. Anyway, man, what do you think? I mean, do you think that do you 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 agree with me? Like this game feels like it was made first, or or do you just they just they just uh. You do, oh, you just don't matter, man. I don't know, man. But anyway, man, get, leave your comments in the in the in your you know write a comment. Let me know what you think about the trailer, and uh, and what you want to see on the next game. Um, half, you know, we know it's boots on the ground. We know it's World War Two. But what else would you like to see for the next game? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to share the video. And I'll see you guys next time, man. Peace and um, adios.